Hey friends, how are you? In today's video, I think we're gonna do easy family dinners. The kids are coming home, all four kids, all summer. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to just some easy meals to feed my family, so I don't have to worry about it all day. Now today is gonna be awesome because we are going to make a barbecued pork product for dinner. It takes such little prep work and it does cook for a long time, but you don't have to do anything to it. Run to my outside fridge, grab it, season up the, one of my favorite cuts of meat and one of the cheapest. If you haven't tried it, you should. It's super easy and delicious. I have four pounds of country style pork ribs in this 10 by 15 glass baking dish. Yes, it's very large. This is like all you need to do. Just put a seasoning on top, some kind of barbecue seasoning. So I have this McCormick barbecue rub that's almost gone. I have this Primal Palette barbecue rub that I'll use once this one is gone. I don't need to stick this in the oven for several hours yet. I'm just put the, putting the seasoning on, covering it with foil and sticking it back in the fridge. It will bake in the oven for about two hours. I'll add some BBQ sauce right there at the end, a couple of veggie sides and boom, dinner is done. I love country style pork ribs because they're usually really, really inexpensive. I don't know why, maybe because a lot of people don't know how to cook them very well. So they just sit on the shelf. Maybe it's a cheap cut of meat. I'm just not sure. But if you cook them low and slow, they get so tender and they just like fall apart. I love it. I find that these are not as finicky as baby back ribs and a lot cheaper. I got these, I think for $1.79 a pound, but I've seen them as low as $1.29 a pound and there's no bones in these. Oil on this, stick it back in the fridge. You're done for several hours. You can even prep this the night before, like two days in advance to when you want to cook it. Actually, the longer the better because then the seasoning just kind of like gets into that pork and makes it really delicious. Save. had my pork ribs cooking in here just the way I showed you before we started. These have been in here for two hours at 275. No, so I'm gonna pull these out, start my potatoes. I also have some cut up strawberries here, some asparagus, I'm gonna saute, frozen corn. I just wanna get it out of my freezer, so we'll just boil that. And we did make some chocolate chip cookie bars. I thought about using this for my potatoes, but I didn't. I just threw in oil and seasoned salt. That's like literally all that's on that. Let's do a little oven switcheroonie. Now, it smells amazing. Absolutely. So you see all of that fat that accumulated, so that's a little too much for me. We're gonna drain that off before we add our barbecue sauce. While I have my potatoes roasting in the oven, I bumped the oven up to 425, I think, for the potatoes. And these only need to go in for five minutes on broil just to get the barbecue sauce, like, you know, like, saucy you know what i mean you know what i mean so we're gonna hopefully drain the extra fat into here without dumping the ribs all over the counter which i'm really good at doing so yeah this goes what's all that okay we'll save that for later this is what we have we need some bbq should we do a test to see how tender it is it should just yeah just like peel away, no problem, right? Oh, yeah. Good. I love pork. If you know how to cook each different cut, it takes on flavor so well. You try a piece? <laughs> do you I, don't, think? I don't know. <laughs> do you think I tried a piece? Yeah, well you're chewing, so. I have um, in my fridge three open bottles of barbecue sauce. I have this Annie's Sweet and Spicy, this Thrive Market organic. I think I'm gonna. Mixy mix? Mm hmm. And this one's the most full, so I'll save that one. This one says spicy. Oh, they both say spicy. I don't know how spicy these are really. Did you think these were spicy? No. I didn't think so. Not at all. 
Steven, is that you? Yep. Okay, I'm recording. Hang on just a second. Okay. Okay. Wow, that doesn't come out very well. I did, yeah. I did okay. Too. That's... Yeah, let's just take yeah, that off. Yeah, that's... All right, there we go. You could also do like a vinegar-based sauce, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we had that a lot when we lived in North Carolina. <gasps> oh my gosh, Dave, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to get out the... Uh... Apron? No, I'm gonna have to take this off and get the shout out so I don't stain my shirt. As soon as the potatoes are really, really close to done, this will go back in for, like I said, like five minutes. We can't take you anywhere. I know, it's so sad. If you don't like asparagus, I'm gonna give you my favorite way to cook it. It's not the air fryer, it's different. This works for Brussels sprouts as well. It takes that undertone of bitterness out. So I have these cut into thirds. The stalks cut into thirds. They're just easier to eat with kids. And some boiling water here. I'm gonna blanch them in here and then saute them in butter here. And my butter melting here. I'm about to pull these out. And I used to have like a basket thingy, but I think it broke. So we'll just do this. Yeah. another meal and honestly one of my favorite easy easy dinners is when green chef sends me a box because these things literally take 30 minutes or less most of the time they are a usda certified organic company send you a variety of meals you can pick between keto paleo vegetarian vegan you can pretty much find anything that suits your dietary needs or preferences i i love the keto box it's the one i get all the time here's what we have to pick from today so i have the mediterranean chicken thighs the bulgogi <laughs> sounds like i'm choking when i say that beef patties and roasted pork sausages and sauerkraut hmm they come on these super easy to follow recipe cards with like pictures and step-by-step -step instructions i have my kids cook these a lot of the time feeling like the mediterranean chicken thighs is the way to go but don't worry i'm definitely going to get to the rest of the meals green so. chef offers nine different recipes you'll never get tired of options that they have for you and all the recipes include pre-made measured sauces dressings and spices so you can get more flavor in less time <gasps> Put my finger, point your finger. Oh, you cut off a freaking nail, sweetheart. I need a rag or something. Do I need to stitches? No, I cut off the tip. Sorry to uh, stop your regularly scheduled cooking program, but Christine just cut off the tip of her finger with a mise knife. So, if you want a really sharp knife, that's a great one. I have some assistance to finish the Green Chef meal. Don't be like Christine. I almost passed oh. out, by the way. <laughs> Shock's a real thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Good thing I had some awesome helpers in the kitchen to do a lot of the prep for me. This is me putting the chicken in the pan, but I can use my right hand for that. Cut my left finger. I think in a couple days I can just wear a Band-Aid instead of the gauze after it stops bleeding and stuff. But here is the finished dish coming up. If I didn't mention it before, what's super convenient about Green Chef is that you can do it with one hand because everything is in baggies that you can just dump into stuff. I'm making the sauce right now. Can't use this hand, except to stir. I could stir with it. Mm, doesn't that look delicious? It's all coming together. This meal looks so good. Maybe not as good as the picture, but still good. If you wanna try out Green Chef and make delicious meals like this and hopefully not chop off your finger, all you have to do is go to greenchef.us slash 90frugalfitmom and they're gonna give you $90 off, including free shipping off your first box. First link in the doobly-doo. Those capers? Mm-hmm. Oh, the chicken is really good. My finger's not hurting quite so bad. Oh, you're right. The vegetables with the sauce is super good. I give this one a 10 out of 10, or nine out of nine. In tonight's episode of clean out the refrigerator of all of the things, we're using up the remainder of my pizza stuff. I did a Thrive Market thing. We had had quesadillas a few days ago, so this was open. I found these at my local store on clearance. I wanted to use them up. Four pizza crusts here. We're gonna do some regular pizza with pepperoni and bacon bits. I do need to get out the mozzarella. Do a taco-inspired pizza with 
these refried beans. And I just cooked up this uh, ground turkey with some taco seasoning right here. We'll put that on along with some cheddar cheese. Super easy and a huge crowd pleaser for my kids. I love pizza. I could eat it every single day. dinner we're gonna take the like TikTok feta pasta and tweak it just a little bit because number one I don't really like feta number two I have some random ingredients that I need to use up it kind of started with this and I was like oh I should make a salad or have this boars and cheese that I'm gonna use but this isn't enough so I'm gonna add some of this goat log to it but also something that my mom used to do when I was a kid is she would cut up hot dogs or sausage and put it in spaghetti sauce. It was usually hot dogs because they were really, really cheap. <laughs> and it's, it's actually really good. If you haven't put a really delicious andouille sausage in a spaghetti sauce just with pasta instead of like a ground beef or an Italian sausage, I recommend it. And so I was thinking about that as well. And I do conveniently have this sausage in the freezer that I thawed out. So I took the hot dog spaghetti idea and I'm kind of mixing it with the TikTok feta pasta idea but I'm kind of making it up as I go along. And we're just gonna put it all together and I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste good. Cause if you put a lot of delicious ingredients together, it's going to taste good. This, with this, with this, and this, we're gonna do it. It's gonna, it's gonna be really easy, it's gonna be fast, and it's gonna be yummy, and the kids are going to love it. It's my favorite thing. reading some comments on a video that I had posted recently. It was my thrift store shop with me video that I did with Andrew. If you haven't seen it, I'll put it down here. You guys are my favorite people sometimes because one of the comments was like, I love the background music, but it could really use some more cowbell. Like made my whole day. Right now I am boiling the water for this shape pasta. I don't know how to say this. And I'm reading it backwards. Italian trotole. Tritoli, definitely with an American accent. <laughs> I don't know, but look how fun it is. Also chopped up the sausage. I angle, right? Render the sausage just in a pan and then toss it into the cheese tomato sauce. Once it's done, let's take a little look-see. Mm. Ooh, yeah, that, it looks sexy. I did turn the timer on but it's like, I don't know what's going on here. I think it's been in there for 25 minutes. Let it go another 15, basically until the pasta's done. And then we're gonna do this. Mix it all together. Oh my gosh, it's ready. Oh, it's steamy. Here we go. Yeah. We're gonna taste the pasta and make sure that it is cooked all the way. Mm. We're good. I love this huge pasta pot. 
so easy to drain this. And you can add some pasta water if you need to. test time it is so good the sausage is like the perfect spicy addition and i love that pasta shape how fun is that mm. okay quick little update on the finger it's not that one it's it's the one holding the camera okay hang on it's gonna be okay <laughs> that's what i have um I mostly, ooh, I definitely slice most of the nail off and like a little bit of the skin on the side. It's pretty open right now, so I have some bandages, like glove bandages to wear when I'm working in the kitchen. I can't put any pressure on it right now. Air touching it doesn't make me cry anymore, so we're making progress. It'll heal, I think it's gonna be okay. Please be careful when you're using knife in the kitchen, that's all. <laughs> and if you wanna check out Green Chef and try some of these delicious meals, they're gonna give you a sweet deal. Just go to greenchef.us slash 90 frugal fit mom and you'll save $90 including free shipping off your first box thanks to them for partnering with me today thank you guys for watching and don't worry I still have most of my finger <laughs> see you next time